Today we're looking at one of the more interesting and anticipated frames in the industry, and that is the Grindor Reno. Now it's larger, better the Demibot was loved by pilots because of its unique design and beefy frame construction. Now the Grindor Reno is taking a little bit different approach by focusing more on freestyle characteristics. So let's open this up and see what you get. Now shout out to the artist who did this amazing job on this packaging. This thing is giving me some pretty cool and fun vibes even before I even open the package. Besides that, there's nothing else on here besides Oh My God, which is the company that helped design this frame kit in conjunction with Bot Grinder. All right, first thing I see here are some pretty cool battery tie downs. Pretty short, but we'll see if that works. A bag here with some goodies on here, looks like some hardware. You have a camera mount, it looks like a sticky uh, battery pad from Oh My God, these are pretty good. And you also have a Oh My God sticker as well on here. Besides that, you have the frame itself. You have the top plate, looks like the mid plate, and then there should be a bottom plate down here. Here's your two arms, and then you have your bottom plate right here. So pretty simple accessories here. Not too many parts, actually. Pretty straightforward. Well, I see that right now. Pretty straightforward. We'll see how well that's going to work once we assemble it right here. All right, so let's get some of these carbon fiber parts out of here. Take a look at them and see how well they are made. Looks pretty good, guys. This looks really nice. Now, this is a three and a half inch drone. And a lot of manufacturers might be going towards the three and a half inch drone because that seems to be the sweet spot to have a good flying you know, sub 250 drone. And you know, the remote ID is coming here very, very shortly to have a nice freestyle drone that's sub 250. That's pretty much the plan here for most, most pilots and most manufacturers. All right, so let's assemble this thing here together. First thing you wanna get is your bottom plate and your mid plate. Now I'm missing a part in here. There was a part with a, aha, right here. So we're just gonna put this square in the middle, that's gonna be the block to secure the arms once you put these plates together. And then we have this bag here with five like medium screws. Those are gonna be the ones that's gonna be going through here to secure the bottom plate and the mid plate. The first thing you wanna do is secure the center right here, put that in the middle, and everything's gonna surround this little square here. So let's get that together. And here you go, you put this plate on here, you have all these pressed nuts already in here. We're just gonna line this up and screw it together. And let's just tighten this down a little bit. This thing is still pretty loose, so that's pretty fine. And it's as simple as just putting these arms in here and it lines up with the square. And then the same bolt that you took from the five, put that in there. Wish I had a little electric tool. I keep promising I'm gonna buy one of those electric drill bit sets, you know, and do it. And here's the last one, put that in there, slip that last bolt in there, and that was just enough bolts. Now this thing is super light. I'm gonna have to get the scale and weigh this thing. It feels super light. Boom. That looks really good. Now you have your holes here for your stack. I'll be using a 20 by 20 stack on this, and that's pretty much what they recommend with this frame kit on here. And that should give you a really light drone altogether. So we'll talk about that later when we talk about the build for this drone. Next, we're gonna put the standoffs on here. We have four here, and we have two smaller ones for the rear. So it's easy to just put this bolt in here, and then just screw your standoffs in here. This frame kit here isn't that complicated. It's coming together really, really fast. There you go. That looks really nice. Now you can put your stack in here, your camera in here, and then your VTX in the back. And you have two different mounting stacks or so mounting holds for your VTX. Looks like a 20 by 20 and a 25. Now um, you also have your camera mounts on here and this goes right here. And you can mount your camera on here. Now besides that, you have your top plate. You just put this on here and you just screw the bolts on here. Pretty straightforward. Boom. And that's it, guys. This thing looks amazing. Here's your grinder. It's <laughs> it looks cool, guys. This is a, a nice looking frame here. Um, obviously, you can put the bolts in here for your stack, but pretty straightforward. A lot of space, actually, which is good. You always want to have space in here. I'm already 
looking at thinking about the build process on here guys yeah let's weigh this thing now it's not going to be accurate because we don't have all the motor bolts and and all the other stuff on there but we want to take a look at it okay so i have my scale here i have my grinderino here let's power this on and the frame by itself is 68 grams really light and that's without the motor screws or anything on there that's just the frames if i put the battery strap on there the battery mat 77 and let's put the the rest of the top screws on here for the top plate 79 well here's the motor screws we'll need the motor screws for sure 83 let's use this one here this is the hardware for the stack 88 grams really light but 89 grams is not bad with the strap and all the accessories to complete the actual frame kit guys so that's pretty cool now i've been hinting about this whole all right, build, 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 let's build this uh, up. And this is gonna be a, a pretty fun, light sub 250 build here. Now, the, the question I always have here is when I build these is what VTX to put in here. It's always like, ah, do I put DJI in here? Do I put Walksnil in here? Do I put analog in here or HD0? Um, for right now, I'm leaning towards HD0. I'm, I'm not against analog. I love analog, it's cheap, inexpensive, light. But I think I'm gonna, go hd0 for now so let's talk about some of the components on here uh let's go with the flight controller we're gonna go with the speedy b this is the mini stack here f45 stack i did a review on this one it's a pretty capable stack and this is the perfect opportunity to put this new stack in this joint it's 20 by 20 so that should be good and it's light and capable it has bluetooth on here so you can do everything wireless wirelessly besides that i have my motors on here and we have our t motors motors we'll talk about that in more specifics when we do the build video which is going to be next once i finish with this video we'll be doing this build assembly video right now so if you're interested in that build video hit that subscribe button therefore you'll be notified whenever i drop that video and then last but not least we have the vtx and i guess i will go with hd0 now we have the Whoop Light VTX, very, very small, very, very light. And this should make or break it when it comes to the weight of your drone. And then I have two options here with my camera. I have a micro and a nano camera here. They're both pretty good. This is the Nano V2 by Runcam. And then I have the micro V2 camera. These are supposing one of the best, or probably the best camera as far as clarity is concerned in the HD0 market. Now you also have the 90 frames per second one. And I also have one of those, but this is not gonna be a racing drone, so no need for that. Now, I considered probably putting a one watt VTX in there. There's hints and rumors about a one watt smaller stack VTX by HD0. And if I can get my hand on that, then I will probably put that into this drone. But I do think I'm gonna go with the full micro camera for now and see how that works. Anyways, let me know what you think about the Grinder. We know it is a pretty cool small drone. It looks like it's gonna be really good. And nothing here seems to be kind of fragile. This thing is stiff for now. And I wanna see how this thing here flies, guys. So anyways, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Peace.